Hello, this is John Cooper with Swiderski Equipment's Precision Farming Division. Today we're going to talk about the Massey Ferguson Datatronic 5 and some of the features as this applies to guidance out in the field today. In this video today we're going to show you how to set up and implement in the Datatronic 5. So here where we're going to start is we're going to have to start a profile. So to start a profile where it says temporary here you would touch and then we're going to add a new one. Uh, normally you don't want to copy data from an active profile, so we're going to hit the X. Uh, we're going to delete this out, and we're going to do ours as a planter. Once you get what your implement is in there, you're going to hit OK. The next page will pop up, it's going to give you your tractor and, and then you're going to build your implement from there. So in this case you either have a front hitch or a rear hitch implement. Um, in this case we're going to be a planter so it'll be a rear hitch, so we're going to hit the back and it's going to pivot on wheels, it's not going to be a direct connect. And then from there it's going to give you, you would, at this point you'd have to go do some measurements. So I know the width is going to be 30 feet, it's going to be a 12 row planter. So I'm going to click this, I'm going to put 30 feet zero inches, hit OK. Um, if you have your planter hooked up, you would measure actually from the hitch point to where it touches the ground, and this one would be the indication of where your hitch point is to your pivot point. We don't know what that is, so we're not gonna put that in here today, but that's what you would do. Um, if we step over to the right side of the screen, this is where your trigger points would be setting up your implement. So, the tractor icons here, if you want to say start your mapping going forward and then you can pick what trigger you want. So you got your hitch lift, your PTO, you got your forward remotes, your rear remotes. Um, you can pick what you want. We're going to pick the steering wheel which is your auto guidance and gauge. So with that selected, if I'm moving forward and I engage my auto guidance button, it'll start mapping on the screen. And you can set this in any direction. So if you'd like it stationary to do that, if you'd like it to go in reverse, all three, it would do that. If you would only want it to go in reverse, you can set it only in reverse when you touch that switch. So that's how you would set that up. So in this case, we would want it either stationary or forward. Um, and then if you step down to the bottom of the page, that is our overlap button. So say you were doing a tillage piece of some sort and you wanted to make sure you had uh, overlap coverage, this is where you would input that. Um, you would tap the icon, the empty box, and then you would put in what you want. So if it's a foot, you'd put one foot. Um, if it's in inches, like six inches, you would put six inches. Once you hit OK, it automatically adjusts your overlap down here to 29 and a half feet. So your auto guidance lines would make it so that you had an overlap of a half a foot. And that's how you would set up your implement.